We're still in Copenhagen and the plan for today is to eat Smurfwurst. Yeah, Smurf with open face sandwiches. Yes, I will never be able to say that's right. You got um, roast beef with remoulade, that's kind of like a tartar sauce, fried onions and uh, pickles. You got uh, like Danish meatballs with uh, like potato salad and chives. Mm. Uh, liver pate with a pickle, a cucumber pickle, uh, beetroot and bacon. Um, eggs, shrimp and mayo. Yeah. And you got a rullepuls. I actually thought it's kind of like... It's, like it's, it's a cold cut. It's a cold mm. cut from pork and then you got like a, I think it's beef sausage. Yeah. A peppered mm. beef sausage with some... Uh, like a salami. Yeah, with salami and some uh, reduced stock. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. yeah. Usually you start with something like the egg and shrimp. Mm. Okay. Because that's a traditional starter combination at like mm. Danish luncheons. Okay. Yeah. It is of course on rye, this being Denmark. <laughs> That's good. I'm not gonna buy this because we ate up all the trade while it took it. Oh, it was. What the shit? Get off. Okay. Maybe just let it yeah. land somewhere. Yeah, it's like peppered beef sausage. I like the um, mm. kind of reduction thing on top. Yeah. That's cool. That's smart. Why do we not do this in Britain? You can actually buy like tubs of that reduction jelly in like supermarkets. Well, there's two I will skip over because I do not like remoulade and I do not like liver potato. So you don't like remoulade and you don't like licorice or you're allergic to licorice. So, how do you dane? I eat a lot of herring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes up for it. The meatball, good choice. Meatballs. Frick it out. Huge. So, like, when you make the meatball, it's like this big? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about like, well... It depends. Yeah, it depends, because... You have oh. the hand in oh, sorry. front of the camera. Are you just trying to impress the Swedes? <laughs> it's usually mm. like half... Pig, half calf? Yeah, ve a mixture of uh, yeah, pork and veal. Yeah. Minced pork and minced veal, and then onions and stuff like that. Mm. It reminds me of the like, German kind of meatloaf. Mm. These are like dinner uh, meatballs, <laughs> not just like lunch and sna snack sized meatballs. So, yeah, this is basically uh, yeah, pork rolled up with lard and then tied together until they, they basically compress. Yeah, and, so, and, and some spices. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, I feel like the flavour of that, that jelly thing they put on top of it just completely overpowers it though. Mm. It is a bit unusual to see the jelly with uh, the, the hulipuza though. Mm. Well, re relatively. Usually when they have it they don't also have like onions. Well, green onions yes, but chives is not that common. But So it's basically like an umami jelly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is what is like the Danish attitude to using lard? Like, as in, do you ever put it just like on bread? Yes, yeah. that's very common, mm. particularly when eating herring. Actually, yeah, oh, interesting. Yeah. Or, or the older generation. Yeah, like my grandparents in their fridge, they have a uh, lard and they have butter. Yeah, mm. and it depends on my my grandfather will always go for the lard. Mm. Yeah, and I will go for the butter because, like younger generations, we. Well, we la like lard is an acquired taste yes, as a, like a and topping. I, and I'm still not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do, like we, we use it quite well in Czech Republic We actually too. have it, like in, it. We have it in two varieties. We have like plain and we have it when, where they mix this in. Or with bacon. Yeah, all with bacon, yeah. So this is roast beef, revelard, pickled cucumber and roast up, chopped onions. Wow. Mm. Know which it's it's actually that. fried. Oh yeah, fried, so, yeah, um, fried onion, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so dignified. Eat, 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 eat. Do you help? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, so you don't like the remoulade? No. So yeah. I'm weird at that point because everybody I know loves it. Mm. Eats it with fries, with everything they can get their hands on. Mm. Mm, I like it a lot. 
is basically made of mayonnaise together with like pickles and mm. some like I think it's mustard or curry powder. Yeah. Like flavor wise I like this one a lot. Mm. Oh sorry. So the beef and pickles and sweetness and the onions. But you need to have uh, slightly less chewy beef for it's really appreciated. Mm. Yeah, the the oh, your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is like quintessential Danish. Okay. Right. But that will be on every like lunch uh, for kid mm. in Buffet, kindergarten. Yeah. But but not with like all the topping, but the, usually just with the, the beetroot, like yeah. the pickled beetroot. Yeah. Or a fresh cute cucumber. It actually looks like she put lard on the. Is it lard or butter? That looks like lard it actually. Looks lardy. Strong liver um, mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna like that. But it's unusual, well, at least in my family, it's unusual that they put butter or something underneath the, the pate. Well, some of my family does. Mm, it's good. Mm. It was kind of, it was softer, it was okay. it's softer than I expected. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you come to Denmark, oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I've been out here in the side. <laughs> the cropping did not work out super well, but we tried. Mm. Anyway, if you come to Denmark, have all of these. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just want to illustrate how slanted this table is.